Results. Results page. See that. Home page. At least we'll finish this week. Uh, this uh, pages, okay. Pages development. Next week we'll close the complete test cases. Okay. Now, first, as you know, uh, the page titles we need to get, right? Any page you go, you have to get the this page title. How you will get the page title based on the fraction URL? The fraction URL we have given, right? This fraction URL, I think we have given in the constants, right? Otherwise, you, you can normal, you can write, sorry, do we need to give every time fraction URL? Not necessary. But in the web driver utils method, we created a function to get the page title okay or uh, to get to get the so this absolute url we have created a one function so that you can use it right so let's go and do that first one and uh, the title also you can get the page title also yeah so let's write public so i want to get the absolute URL. So string get login page URL. So here we have a you know, written type. You can put a logger log.info So get login page current address for your. So what is that return? So what is the method we used? Wait for right. So here we we have used in the logout right. In the logout we have used wait for. Uh, URL contains, I think, right? Wait for a URL contains somewhere. Yeah, we are written here somewhere. Yeah. This one. Same thing you can call that. This, what is a account to login fraction URL, right? Okay. Login fraction URL. You can see here. This one you can use. That's it. You want to get the page title? Get it. So go and get the page title also. Public string. Get login page title. So log dot info get log in base title so return wait for title i think right wait for title so you have to give title fraction value Wait for title. So why I don't to give that? So I'll call directly this one. Get title method might be here. Hmm? Get title method is there. See, I didn't write again driver dot get title. I have just written the method reusable method which is there in the web driver details. Next. So do the login, okay? So do the login, login step, public. So wide, do login. So what are the parameters we need? You need email. And password. So password. So we all know this. Uh, log dot debug let me use log dot debug okay 
So we didn't use one time also. Performing the login action. So what are the steps we have? Send data. Send data. Which element? Email address, edit box, and the email. Right? Next. Sorry. Send data. Send data. Password edit box. Password edit box. Password. Next. So okay. click on click login on button. Login button. Log dot debugger use. Let's use log dot debug. So click on login, login button. button. That's it. Hey, done, right? Next, uh, next, what is the action? Go to forget password page. Hmm? Write that. So public wide oh. go to forget password please. So write log dot info. Click on forget password, password link. link. So use click method. That's it. So what else uh, we can do? You have to click on the new customer, right? New customer continue button. Yeah. Public. Wide. So click new customer continue button. New customer, continue button. So we just put log dot info. Click on continue button. Continue button. So what is the name we have provided? I think new customer. New customer continue. Continue, but yeah. So add the most declaration. Next, uh, write all the Boolean, so you check it, whether uh, so that the header is available or not, right? Yeah. This header. Is new customer. So this header is available or not? You can check. This breadcrumb login is available or not? You check. 
right? That you can try it out all those. So we already written them. Uh, just copy paste them only. There it is. Just click one will write and then just quickly copy paste. So is new customer customer header exist. New customer header, right? Yeah. Header. Exist or whatever it is. Exist. So return is displayed. So is displayed method you can call directly and also you can customer. Mm. Header, right? Header, yeah. That's it. Same you do for other. Uh, Few elements. We have three elements, right? Yeah, returning. Uh, yeah. Is uh, return register account. register account sub subheading sub Yeah, yeah, that also can be. Is, uh, is new customer text. Uh, you know, uh, is register account account text right? Account uh, subheading. Subheading, whatever it is, you can give okay. any name. Okay. Text okay. exist or not. So heading means we should have a H tags. Okay. Make sure you follow those notations. Mm -hmm. If uh, H tags are there, right, uh, you should not use them. You should not say say header. Okay. Oh, we have written a subheader. Okay. Yeah. Fine, yeah. But make sure, you know, while giving these naming conventions, follow the rules, okay? Other than okay. that. So next, uh, what is the next one? Is uh, returning customer head. Returning customer head. Customer exist, right? Customer yeah, header, header exist. So here you can put returning where is that so we are given different name maybe we can check we didn't give one oh we didn't identify i have missed it it's not there so let's go and identify this Oh, here you already there. Okay, we yeah, put a name yeah. login yeah. section here. Okay. Yeah. We already there. See the naming conventions. If you give like this, confusion will come. Otherwise, you give the same name, right? Okay. So that it will be easy for us. Um, returning customer. Returning customer header. So that it will be easy. See, we we're missing them. That's it. And you have to do a click action here, right? This one and also is exist or not. Also, you have to check this. That also you write. Is login breadcrumb exist? Right. Is um, login breadcrumb exist? Is login breadcrumb exist? So, what is the name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Account login breadcrumb. Yeah, I give that. Next, um, click on home icon. This home icon. Mm -hmm. Public. So wide. Click. So home icon, right? We already have it in logout, I guess. Yeah, we have in the logout. Yeah, I think so. 
somewhere we have written the test data in the Check my account page. Yeah. Um, this one. Anyway, let's quickly write it. It doesn't take much time. Okay. Click, uh, oh my God. Click login home icon. So that I'll separate clearly. That's it. Okay, so done. We're done. So what is the next page? We can go. So you can check there all the pages we are given, right? Already. Home page, are we done with the home page? No, no sir. we didn't. We didn't do? Mm -hmm. Let's go and do the home page then. Wait, it's uh, throwing error. Where is the error? Save it. Okay, that error is gone. Okay, let's do the home page. Okay, we didn't do home page. Main home page is important, right? First page. That's our first page. So do the same, you know, uh, loggers and everything. So web driver declaration. So this one, you can do this. Mm -hmm. That's it. So now one by one element. First one is uh, this logo. Right, let's go and this logo you have to identify. So you have a title, alt, class, but we'll take a so CSS uh, from here we can start logo slash do logo a so img. Let, let, let's um, put that. Mm. So do you hash where it is going? The right side. It has logo greater than A greater than IMG. Like whenever we are writing, that is going to the uh, selector sub. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, okay. So selector sub it is going. Okay. IMG. Right, so let's take this and identify that. So at the rate, find by CSS equal to CSS equal to that value. So like that, first practice time you take time, no problem, but uh, start writing them. Start mm -hmm. writing so that uh, you will remember the formulas. So that's an open card. No. Logo. Logo. Import find by. Import. And then by element. So, 
So what is the next element you have to identify? This is my account menu, right? So if you want to go to my account menu, then we can take. So we'll take this or uh, this one. Okay, let's take a relative expert. Hmm? Okay. Relative expert you take. The right find by spark private element my account my account my account my Next, just take one by one, okay? Under that, we have a register link, we have login link, we have, right? Those, uh, so one by one, we'll take. So let's write here, uh, link text, link text. So this one I'm taking here, this one, register okay. link of this. Register. Directly write a link. T is missing for link text. Okay, T is missing. Yeah, I'll write. So register link. Next to the same login link also. Link text. Login link. So that's all right. Uh, any other thing we have we need to? Maybe if you want this one, you identify this one, okay? This also. Cart. Cart total. You want cart total only, right? Cart total will take. That's important. Cart Okay, next one is, uh, that's all right in this space, what we need more than enough, these are enough. Let's uh, do a actions. So let's do the actions on this. So first try to, to you click on this, open this uh, my account, uh, right? My account menu. So how you can open my account menu? Hmm? What, what what action we are doing there? Click action. Click to my account menu. That's it, right? Or open my account or click my account menu. It's up to you, whatever the name you want to give. 
public provide i'm just uh, open my account then so just writing log dot debug so debug messages also i'm keeping opening them my account men so click my account men test in progress next so once you open you you can navigate to or go to registration page okay write that or navigate to registration page whatever it is you just write public simple you want put a go to registration page okay that is how simplify it's up to you okay follow the one notation okay? so uh, go to register page right first you have to if you want independent you have to write right if you want to go to this first you have to follow this method so first that step so what is the second step hmm logged in debug Hmm? Click inside already. Wait, is there uh, no? So you have to see. If not there, you can add. If it is not there, you can add. Click on register link. So if you don't have add, wait for visibility. Right, wait for visibility. Wait for eliminate. Wait for element visible. Seconds. So I'll write um, in text. Register. Click on register link, sir. Okay, so I'll write here uh, that uh, click action, right? Click on this. Um, yes. Click on register link, okay? Same thing you do for the login page. Login. Go to login page. Login page. So first you have to open the menu. Then click on login link. Login link. And In here you have to login. That's it. And here you change it to this. So, any other uh, things we have? No. So that uh, logo we have to verify, right? Logo is present or not, then uh, get that total uh, cart value. You hmm? need to get a cart value or not? Hmm. But uh, initially it won't be there, I think, right? Once uh, zero item. Once you are and like are we not identifying that uh, desktops laptops that on you know that menus yeah you can identify them also this feature section and all this you can identify that also on the top it's there right desktop laptop notebook. this one 
Oh, these yeah. menus. Yeah, these yeah. menus also you have to identify. Yeah. You can click on them, right? You can click on them. Yeah. So you can identify. These are menus. You can identify menus also. So you can do that also. One, one I'm just going to write uh, the is this logo exist or not? Open cart logo exist or not? You can identify them. Okay. No issues in that. Boolean. Is open cart logo exists. So next one, get the total cart value. Public string get cart total. Get text. That's it. Yeah. So we're done. Login page is done. Home page is done. Forget password. You know, you can write that forget password. Think right. You can do that. So all these elements you can write it back or oh, continue. So you want to write? Let's go and uh, finish this also. Email address, read box. Class we didn't use. Let's use class, okay? Till now we didn't use class, right? Let's use class. This class is in. So header, first you take the header. See do content um, H1, okay? So do content H1, I can take this uh, CSS selector. CSS, let's take that. 
So what is that? Forget your past mm -hmm. mm -hmm. password. Next turn. What is this? Legend. Take this. Your email address, legend. Um, back button. Export values. Continue button. Let me take this. Break okay, so I'll add them. Forgotten password. Breadcrumb also you want? Okay, take that. Oh my god, also sir. Okay, breadcrumb. I'll take breadcrumb. Forget password. Breadcrumb. So this is how you can practice more. Okay, so oh, very big one. It's okay, not an issue. One time only, right? We're going to write. But that big not necessary, right? We can create our own. Now. So very simple one. You can start from here. So we can write it. Try the other one, okay? So not necessarily that much big, but uh, I just want to give here. Forget password. Breadcrumb. Breadcrumb. So next one is uh, home icon. We are written somewhere, right? Home icon. I'll just take from here. I don't want to write. It's the same. Okay. Check where is it identifying or not. Okay, go and uh, open the application. Check that. Yeah, perfectly it is identifying. No issues. And the function also I can write. Forget password, home icons. That's okay. Now uh, we have written here. Okay, so what is the first one you want to do? Build the email. We have to change the names. Web element names. Oh my god, name. Name, name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this one you want to change. Forget password, oh my god. 
क्लिक फॉरगेट पासवर्ड हो बाई कॉन मिलते Yeah. See, we can do click on the back button. So click on the continue button, right? Click on forget password back button. Click forget password continue button. Okay, then sir, next no, what is continue it? button, sir. You have replaced it, sir. In 50 oh. line, we have to like click on back button. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay. Back button. Next to fill the email address, right? Sir, mm -hmm. is there any differences between uh, info debug? So both are messages only, but uh, no debugging time, these messages will be shown to you. So you are debugging, right? Oh, okay, okay. So that is the message uh, you will get it. these messages. Info means mm -hmm. general uh, messages. Okay. Okay. Data. Uh, fill the email address. Send, Send data. data. Email address, it is box. Yes. Okay, we have to give one parameter, right? Ring email. Email. So you send the email. Add throws declaration. Next, uh, what is there? Um, Header. So header, you need to check that header is present or that breadcrumb is present or not. Boolean is um, forget password, forget your password header exist. So return is displayed. is displayed. Next, uh, what is the other element you have? But That's make sure you write uh, the comments, okay? Each thing. 
or is it so difficult to identify them? So anything pending? Uh, breadcrumb. Okay, breadcrumb. Yeah. So you need to check breadcrumb also exists or not. Please forget password. Password. Breadcrumb exist. Okay, that's it. So one, two, three, four, five is done. Oh no, we have to go to registration page also done. Now product. we have to go to product details. Product details, please. And research yeah. page also we need to know. Yeah, these two are pending. Let's go and do that. So first we'll which one we'll do? So product details will come first or results will come? First results will come, right? Results after product details will come. Am I right or no? So confusion, let's go and see that. Basically what we are doing here, uh, if you search here, okay. So now the results page will come. Results page. See, this is the results page. Then if you click particular thing, then details page will come. That's a general e-commerce website behavior, right? Are you clear on yeah. this function? No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So that that's functionality. We so first let's do the results page, okay? So let's do the results. Results page, what we need to do, we have to first, you know, uh, search already done in the my, my account page, right? My account page, we already done. So once we complete the search, so search till, you know, uh, my account page only we are doing. After clicking on the this start second, you are getting here. Now this is the another page, results page. Basically, we are calling this as a results page, okay? So we're calling this as a results page. So these results, so you, you need to, to understand here. So results page, all the elements one by one, you identify that. So let's go and identify the results page elements, all of them. Uh, first, we'll start from this breadcrumb onwards. Okay, let's go and identify the spread from present space. I just identify a few elements okay, that it will be easy for us uh, no need to write. Where is that the results, results, results? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, constructor already be created. Huh? Yes. Let me just change this. Okay, now um, one by one will identify. First one is uh, this breadcrumb.
you can use a so any one of them CSS or uh, set, but uh, this doesn't help us actually. Why you have set here also? You have set, but how, which set? So you have to write uh, very clearly. That will help us. So you start from here. So we'll write a. So exactly li of um, this li2, right? li2 to a, that's enough. Now see exactly it is. A, if you want to still write a, this text, you write the text. Otherwise, this is fine. So take this export. So I'll write a text also. Why I want to write you're exactly telling, okay? So this text I'm expecting, you identify the text. You're telling very clearly. So that there are many breadcrumbs are there, but you can just stop there only with the A tag. Every breadcrumb element is having A tag. So. Search breadcrumb. Search breadcrumb. Next. So we have to get all this. Uh, if you want this head, header, but fine. We don't want that headers. But this is a dynamic, right? Yeah. You can get a header div ID. So this one, okay, header also I'll get it. Search header. Search header. Next. Uh, so we'll get all these elements, okay? all these elements one by one. But we need to understand the list of uh, no, all of them. We need to get it. So how to get all button. of them? Sorry? Search button. This one? Yeah. Here we are not entering anything, but if you want to change, right? Um, so you can do that also. So you can identify. I think that will take to the product details page. No, 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 not like that. If you click on this, only it will take. Yeah. Okay. Take to the product detail space. One minute, somebody in the Okay, so uh, the, if you need to click this uh, one enough to go to a product detail space. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, not the search, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you do a search again, list uh, results list will income. Yeah. Okay. So, but we have to get uh, all these color, all these products into a list. So one list we'll get. So that list of elements, we'll see how it is there. Okay, let's understand first the center grid. Okay, so where is that? The product. Okay, this one. On the top, also you can see if there is any grid. Okay, entire grid where one. This is also one. Product to layout list. You need to understand. Mm 
-hmm. Okay, next. Um, this is the set. Okay, so that is gone. Okay, till here. This is starting here. Okay. Then this part. Then this part. Okay, these are all the elements under this. And uh, next one is um, this is the div. Okay, starting here now. The products are okay. This is the one, all it is highlighting. Yes, it is starting here. And this one, what is this one? I want to see where is this. This part is on bottom side, this one, this one. Okay. Like this, first understand the, uh, the structure. If you understand the structure, then it's going to be easy for you. See that. So where it is starting and uh, how it is starting, we need to understand. So that understanding what is a very important. This entire grid, we need to understand. This is the grid. Yeah, this grid part, we, we'll take a grid part, okay? We'll take a grid part. So I'll take it from here. And I want this one, A. And next, uh, this one. Okay. So can you see here the product layout, product grid? Do? Column L3, MD3, column 6, column 12. So this is a common, okay? This is the common. So this is the one, one part. Another one. Next one, you have one more also, one more also. So like this, you know, a common thing you have to construct. How you can construct? So let's build that uh, common thing. So I'm going to take this uh, partial one, this one till this, I'll take, and this is a class, right? With the CSS, I'll build it. So you can, I'll show you here, how I'm building this. So div, okay, right here itself, otherwise, okay, not a problem. So div square bracket plus star. Okay. So now we'll see how many it is going to give. See, all four it is giving. All four it is giving, right? Yeah. So this is going to give a list of elements. Just take the uh, list of elements. Yeah. List of elements, okay? We'll write a list of elements. CSS. List of products we'll write. Okay, this, this is a results. List of I'm getting all the product list. So we, how many products today? Four are there. Tomorrow more are there. This will fetch all of them. You don't need to worry about that. But if it changes for different uh, item, like uh, we are any item, yeah. it okay. doesn't matter. Any product okay. you give. product okay. name, you can give anything. That is the standard. So I can say search product list. Okay, search product list. Or you can say uh, product list also, fine. So whichever you want, so it's up to you. Now, so get the page title and also this product size also you can get, right? And also you can get uh, a particular product you can select. Right, you basically in this, you have to select the particular product, right, out of all this. Mm -hmm. So how can we do that? Let's write the, so one by one, now. so function. First get the page title, yeah, I'll get the page title, public string, uh, get search results, is a title. 
Okay, so return. Get title. So I think we can uh, get this. Uh, you can see here. Can you observe here? Yes. So did you understand what, what is happening here? Yes. Product no. name. So whatever the product name will give, that product name based, you are going to get it. So you write uh, the string. Product. Name. product. So product name. So we can get based on the product name also, right? Base weight for title contents is there. We have this method already. Title contents. So the product name, if you give, it will fetch the page title. Then get the how many are there in this? How many are there? You can you know how how many, right? So this also you can get, you can validate this also. So this count and this count must be same, right? Yeah. So how you can validate this count and this count is same? How can you validate? Hmm? Assert or assert. Uh... That's okay, but first uh, your approach. Okay, like manually you're asking? We'll get the collection size. Yeah, right? Collection. This collection size. You already took the collection right here. Mm. Yes. You already took the collection size. Yeah. And then uh, you know this. how to get this. How to get this data. Get text. Uh, okay. Get text method. You know how to get this text mm -hmm. or this data. Mm -hmm. And get out of all this, uh, this you get it. Okay, so this one. And uh, compare. Now this size you get and this size you take. And that's it. And compare it with the asset equals. Okay. Mm -hmm. This also we need to take one uh, element. Uh, so what you can say that is, uh, what is this element? So what they're giving, any name they're giving, uh, showing maybe total products count, maybe we can say, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Showing one to four, one to four of four. But you have to use the string methods to extract uh, this, this one, this one you have to get it. Okay. And, uh, let's see that. That also will take. But anyhow, let's uh, first get the size of this. Okay. I'll take the size. So how can you get the size? Public. Print. Get. Search product. Uh, the size. Product list size. How can you get that? Return product yes. list dot size size method. Dot size method. That's it. So this is the actual, you know, when you search, you will get the count and you get the that text also. So with that, it is over now. So I need to select one of the product right here. One of the product I need to select. So how do you know one of the product? So that will return. So this this method will return. You know, I'll show you first how to write. Okay, write the functions first. Select the product. Products. So that product, you give the product name. Mm -hmm. Right, which product you want? Product name you give. It. So first, log dot debug. So, product name it means you can just give product name. And uh, See that you, you have a you know uh, 
this is all links so you can see you can see this is the a a tag right can you see this this is the a tag yeah so that a tag you can give I map title, you can get that. Or you can, if you just you know, click on this. So whatever the name you are giving, that it will go and click on that one. But you have to, to parameterize this X path or whatever it is. Or you just write, uh, so directly, right, driver dot, find element. So by dot, link text you write. So that's a link name and product name, dot, Click method. So that also you can do. Otherwise, directly uh, you can what this locator. You can pass it to you this. Can iterate the search product list, and if it equals a product name, we can click on. That also you can do. That, but you have to get the text right. But here, that's the problem. You, the product name you have to get again. Oh, this yeah. product name. So this product name you need to get it right. This one. So you have to write X path for this again, okay? But you see how it is, it is the same or not. Let's construct this X path also otherwise. Do you, do you, do you square bracket class equal to caption. So greater than H4 greater than A. Right? Are we good? How many it is giving? 285. Four. Four. Four, right? See, four elements matching. What is on the left side? Oh, that is just D. Okay. Where where you have seen? Oh, this one. Huh? Okay, D. Yeah. Okay, so okay. That is not the one. Yeah. I have written in the selector sub. Can you see here? Yeah. So this one, you, you can get the text and you, however you want, you can iterate it. Uh, if that is, this text is equal to product name, then you click on that. Okay. okay. That condition also you can put it. Okay, that also you can do. Otherwise, I'm giving exactly the same. And when you click on this, this is navigating to product detail space. See, this is a product okay. detail space. So write that. So return, it is returning to, so new product detail space. But you have to pass this as a driver as a object preference. And you have to give this. Yeah, this is how to return the pages. Okay. That's important. Return argument to main product. Okay. So remove the return type. Create a constructor. Okay, we're, we're going to create a constructor there. So we don't need to worry about it. So I'm, I'm going to return this and I'm, that is the so main thing. Mm. One method is pending, right? Let's finish that method also. Uh, is exist public. So Boolean is uh, such breadcrumb exist. Is displayed. Return. Okay. That's all. Uh, tomorrow, so we'll see. Change return type to wide. Why? Oh, so return. I miss it. Return. Okay. That's all. Uh, product uh, result space. And last phase tomorrow we'll finish it and uh, we'll start writing the test cases.
Any questions?